Lighthouse Books is an antiquarian bookstore, and that brings us into uh, contact with various kinds of collectors, of course, especially book collectors. And after having been in the business for 40 years or so, I've developed a few ideas about these folks, collecting and collectors, and I'd like to share a few of those ideas with you today. The first thing is, I firmly believe that everybody is a collector. I believe that it might even be genetic. Some folks collect shoes, some folks collect dollars in the bank, some folks collect experiences, others collect dolls or comics or even books. However, I find that a lot of book collectors are reluctant to say, I collect books. Usually they're thinking of some sort of um, Georgian library with tall stacks of leather-bound books, that sort of thing, in much the same way that people think of formal gardens in England or France. But those aren't the only kinds of gardens. There are other things, uh, for instance, some folks only collect in their garden ornamentals, and certainly that's true of folks who collect high points in the book world. Other people are sort of agribusiness, they collect anything and everything. I've known people that have bought a second house in order to have their collection in the house. Other people have a backyard garden. It could be vegetables, it could be flowers, those kinds of things. Still others have a quiet little garden by the back step that they visit uh, from time to time and it gives them some relief from the everyday world. Other people have maybe a herb and spice garden and a window box. But in any case, there are all sorts of gardens, there are all sorts of collectors, there are all sorts of book collections. And one of the great things, however, about book collecting is that it's not linear. It is to say you can have a collection and make connections this way and that way, and in fact, a good book collection, as you develop it, starts with uh, a foundation, and you can make different connections in whatever way you want. For instance, here's Ernest Hemingway's Island in the Stream, and this is a book that, of course, could be in an Ernest Hemingway collection, or it could be in a collection about novels that use Cuba as a setting, or novels that use Florida as a setting, or novels that use World War II as a setting, or fathers and sons, or a variety of other hundreds or thousands of different ideas where this particular book could fit in. And that's the idea with book collecting, is that it's a creative endeavor, and you can make your own connections. Generally speaking, a collection will start with foundation things. If you were going to collect in the field of um, space exploration, for instance, you might start with Carl Sagan, but you might add uh, the biographies and autobiographies of some of the astronauts or cosmonauts, and it'd be especially good if some of these were signed. And for a high point, you might even have a letter from Werner von Braun that talks about um, rocketry and that sort of thing. That is to say we have a foundation and then we have high points in it. And as the collection develops, as a well-developed collection, it takes on a sort of spherical shape to it so that you can take out and study an individual part of the collection. You can also do the same thing with, let's say, Civil War books, or, uh, in which you, of course, would at the bottom have Bruce Caton, those sorts of things. You might have studies of particular battles or units, unit histories. You might also have some letters and that kind of thing as your high points. 
but you could take out from that sphere any given subject, sort of set it on the table, and you would have a good study of whatever it happened to be. The point of all this is that book collecting is creative. You can plant your garden however you would like to, and you can make the connections that you want to make. It's unlike, let's say, coin collecting or stamp collecting, where you have a limited number of ways that you can put your material together. Rather, it's a great thing because you can put different ideas together with different other ideas and come up with something that's completely new, completely creative. And the offshoot is that if you put together a good, well-developed collection, then it will also contribute to our body of knowledge, to our wisdom and understanding in the world at large. Thank you.